Hello everyone, it is Andrea coming at you with a plan with me and I'm going to be planning the week of April 1st through April 7th. I did have another kit planned for this week but I decided to switch it out kind of last minute because I did want to use um, that kit a different week. It was a spring cleaning kit and I will yeah I didn't really do any cleaning this week so I was like I don't really feel like it made a ton of sense to use the set um so I just went ahead and switched it out for this Akatar Inspire kit which is called Curse Breaker kind of based on the first Akatar book and my thought process for this was one I just wanted to use this in spring at some point and then two I was just thinking um, Hannah actually got me one of the original cover. Well, she got me a quart of thorns and roses, the like original cover, which I was very excited about because I have been kind of like wanting those secretly for a long time. So very excited that I have that one. And, um, yeah, I thought that I was like, okay, well that kind of makes sense. Cause she got me that during this week. And then I was like, all right, let's just switch it out. I did use a mixture of, uh, rose gold and pixie rose. Um, the row I did get a mixed metal bundle from Planahanna. It's like the shimmer or something shine bundle, maybe question mark. The mixed metal one in um, rose gold and pixie rose. And then I did also use a foil bundle from my shop, which was the star foil bundle in rose gold. But I think it turned out so pretty the base did. So let's go ahead and switch into the day by day. Okay. So on Monday, I was up so much with um Bennett and Lila this night I am also color blocking which I have been loving recently so we're gonna go ahead actually I need a bigger sticker than this honestly because I only have two things I feel like I had like not a lot to put in my planner I've just been like vibing you know let's go ahead and do this box here for being so dang tired I feel like last week I was spoiled with having the um actually maybe I have like a color of the week that matches this there's like this nude color that I feel like matches almost everything um yeah this would be perfect mostly for the doodles yeah so um I feel like I was spoiled last week with having doodle too that I'm like I need it back in my life I need doodle too um but yeah I was up a lot with Bennett and Lila this night well the night prior um so I was so super duper sleepy I feel like I don't even have anything left in there I feel like I've been using that one a little bit too much I guess I'm gonna be going into my sleep section because I don't know I feel like my the regular like scribbler color looks really nice with this kit though so I think it's gonna be pretty easy like I feel like this is like similar tones like this is just a lighter version of that so we're gonna go ahead and stick that in I also don't have my nails done because today not that you care um but um Today I am doing a bunch of cleaning so I was like my nails I took them off yesterday and then I'm going to be cleaning today and I'm going to put the nails back on so in case you were wondering I guess um so I was just super super tired this day and then I did work as much as I could this day Bennett and Theo were both home this day so I didn't get like a ton done this week was very like a little bit stressful work-wise because I feel like I was just really running behind and then this week I was like okay I need to get everything done by like Wednesday and I did but it was very stressful still so for working I'm just going to use a little um, computer type sticker here and then I'm going to use a work script all of my scripts this week are going to be from Planet Hannah they are in rose gold and they are in font nine which is like the starry font which I think is very 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 cute um I did make orange chicken for dinner I had like I think it was from Costco it's like a freezer section it comes in like two meal pack kind of things um and I was like all right what can I make I didn't go to the grocery store this day it's like what can I make that's like quick easy and I just threw some rice in the rice cooker and called it a day. So I just made that. And then I took a bath and then read a ton. Like this day, boring. Most of my days actually recently, boring. Because I feel like I'm just like so, we've been just so 
like obnoxiously busy for no reason I feel all right so let's find something for bath and then also I have something on the other one for read let's do the little bath bombs here for bath and then for reading I was this night I think I started reading Evelyn Hugo which I think I finished them the next day I did it was a it was a quick read especially because I just feel like I didn't want to put it down I just loved Evelyn and I was like kind of obsessed I'm not gonna lie I just was like I want more I want all of the like information on all of this so for bath I have a little bath script I actually don't think that this is the bath script I was meant to use but maybe it was all right bath and then I did read. Yeah, actually it is. I'm lying to you. Read. I love this font. It's so pretty. Anytime I can use it, I will use it. And then on Tuesday, I was very, very anxious about what I don't really remember. Not sure I could tell you, but your girl was anxious this day. So I'm going to sneeze. I feel like I'm just like in a day. <coughs> Bless myself. In a day, I feel like I sneeze like at least 10 times. I'm a big sneezer. So I was super anxious and just honestly worked most of the day. I feel like I do best whenever I work, like if I'm anxious um, or I just cuddle Nick. Those are like my two like, or take a shower. Those are like my three coping mechanisms, I guess, or if I ate McDonald's, okay? There, okay, I have a few coping mechanisms, but you know, we're gonna just line this up so it's the exact same thing as the other side. Um, so I was super anxious. I did go to H-E-B this day to get the good old groceries. I just love H-E-B so, 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 so much. It's like my little happy place. Except for I feel like I don't know how, like the H-E-B I go to is like pretty new. Um, I just don't know how or like what the protocol is on like, what time is it? 7.56. Um, okay um on like shopping carts I have this thing well I have like an issue with like repetitive noises or just like really grating noises in general like it drives me up a wall um but I feel like if I go to Target I feel like their carts pretty smooth like but at H-E-B no I feel like unless I'm gonna sit there and like go through the carts to try and find one they're so rickety like I don't understand like is there somebody who like comes and like fixes them up every once in a while because like it, it it's it's not even open two years and their cards are like trash like they're like <laughs> like they like hop when they go and they make loud noises and like the whole time I'm like grocery shopping I'm like gritting my teeth because of the like the noise that in the like vibrations that are emitting from the shopping cart oh gosh I might just honestly start doing test drives of all the carts before I like commit to a cart, which sounds insane. But I feel like I don't even have that much like issues at like Walmart or Target and those have been around for way longer. So I'm like, how do the H-E-B carts just get so janky so fast? I don't really know. I'm sorry for my tangent, but like, is there like somebody who like services like shopping carts? Like does H-E-B just need to get like on it and like get somebody who comes in every once in a while and make sure that they're not like horrendous to, to walk around I feel like the kid cart ones with like the um like you know the ones that you like put your kids in with like a race car I feel like those aren't even as rickety so I might just like Theo you're coming with me grocery shopping every time just so I can not look silly driving around this this car cart anyways I went to Michael's and Old Navy this day um I needed to get little gems for uh, a gift that I was making for Hannah at Michael's and then I just went to Old Navy because I was bored and I got some shorts and I think like a D&D t-shirt from the men's section that was super cute um which I wore I think in my like one of my videos recently then I did read outside um with I'm trying to think of like what I want to use um, we went outside, me, Nick, and Theo did. So I did read outside for a bit um, while um, Theo and Nick were running around. I was not running around. 
I was sitting in a chair reading. I actually this day found out like through like just curiosity and then like a Google wormhole that I really love hammocks like a lot. Like I have had an infatuation with hammocks for a good portion of my life. For why? I don't really know. Actually, I'm, I'm being honest with you. I just always have. Ever since I can remember, I am like have had like the want for a hammock. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So the problem with hammocks is, is I also have a thing that I'm not like super into being dirty. And I feel like unless you're taking the hammock thing off and like maybe that's what you're supposed to do. And then like putting it back on. And like also I don't really have like a spot for like the poles for like a hammock. It just seems complicated. So I found out this day that they make... Um, I need like, also Evan, Evelyn Hugo was a five-star book for sure. I was like, oh, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, where's my emotions positive section? Okay. So anyways, they make hammocks now that are like, you know, like camping chairs or like just chairs you'd like take to like soccer games, like ones that are not in stands. So they make those, but like hammocks like that take like 30 seconds to put up and then you can like put them away so they don't get like dirty and then you don't have to have like a permanent fixture laying around and I was shook they're like 100 bucks on Amazon and you can bet your bottom dollar that it will be mine eventually eventually because I love the idea of a hammock okay Evelyn Hugo was a five-star book. I feel like it's a book that a lot of people are like this book's a five-star read and I feel that that is a lot to live up to a five-star read by everybody and I'm like there's no way that this could be that good and even Hannah was like five stars and I was like very weird because like I don't know it just doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like that's going to happen like do you know what I'm saying like I was just like I don't know about this I'm a little um I'm a little sus on the movement of it being a five-star read because I was like I don't know it just seems too good to be true I don't know so I went in kind of skeptical, but it's a five-star read. It is a five-star read. Everyone is right. It is such a good book. Um, I was not expecting like the, the, the most of it and I loved it. I love Evelyn. I was like, yes, for like everything she did. Basically, I was like, what did I do? She's a Slytherin. So um, it doesn't say she's a Slytherin, but I'm just assuming she's a Slytherin. TBH, if you read it, I think you agree. Um, but anyways, so I did then sleep in, which was really nice to say. Theo slept in, which was really, really fabulous. We love that. We love a time that I can sleep in. It just doesn't happen very often, if I'm being honest with you. But, you know, that's called parent life or, you know, there's plenty of different lives that cause that. But parent life is one of them. So I did sleep in. And then this day, Bennett had a field trip um, to a park and they... We, it was a whole thing. I feel like we always are like somehow roped into a bunch of things. We need to bring a wagon and then we ended up bringing water. It was a whole thing. So we did go to um, the park with the boys and did that for a while. Ch chatted with Bennett's teacher. Um, she was so funny. She was talking about Miley Cyrus and she's like, did you hear that no Beyonce song? Just so funny. She's like two years from retirement and she's like ready to go. So did that and then um so we did that it was like a picnic and then me and nick didn't bring food we didn't plan on staying that long but his teacher was like don't leave me which honestly like i don't blame her because first graders are crazy all right so i feel like at this point i like know all of the kids in bennett's class and i have like ones that like oh oh i was like did i spell that wrong who like gravitate towards me specifically or Nix specifically as far as like helping them do things. I feel like I have my like little like pack of kids, but also the like the classroom shoe tire. So then we went to Hat Creek after because me and Nick didn't like bring food because we didn't think we would stay that long. So we went to Hat Creek, Theo played on like the playscape because all Hat Creeks have like really nice playscapes. And I got a, I think, we got a burger and like a lettuce wrap. It was like the most bizarre option because I don't think that like burgers with like the barbecue sauce and like 
um, bacon are like really great for lettuce, like wrapped burgers, but I did it and you know, I didn't have no regrets. I've been in a burger mood recently. I went to Hop Dottie yesterday with Hannah and I got, they have like a Wagyu like burger on their like specialty burgers and it was so good. And I was like thinking about it, I was falling asleep last night and I was like, I kind of want to get it on a salad. Cause like on there you can get any burger or like any sandwich as like a bowl and it's so good. The Nashville hot as a salad is like one of my top five favorite salads. If you're wondering, drink it, we're drinking so coffee. My glitter shawls that I'm actually drinking from upside down. Okay. Anyways, so then after that, you know, just hanging, hanging, hanging was with the fam. So we're just gonna go ahead and plopperoni that in. I think uh, Theo and Nick did go to IKEA this day. I did not go. I had work to do, unfortunately. It's just the way that the cookie crumbles. Mama's gotta work. So later on, hung out with the fam, you know, doing the whole ding dong do. And then I did get a new bookshelf this day, which I was very excited about. I wanted to get a bookshelf for my bedroom because I have books. Well, I had books in three different um, like areas and it just really wasn't like working. Um, and in my room for like my TBR, my to be read, if you're not a book gal or person. Um, so I was like, I want to get a bookshelf, but I don't want to spend like a bazillion dollars on one. So I'm like, all right, we're going to go into Ikea and see what they have. So I got like the Billy bookcase or whatever, the like short one and not like the, it's like the normal, but like short, um, and I was like, all right, there, it comes in like five different colors. In my bedroom, the wood is like, it's different than the rest of my house because Nick really wanted like influence in the bedroom. Me and Nick have very different design choices. Mine is like modern clean white for the most part, except for in my personal office, which is like throw up color, throw up glitter, throw up everything, which I feel like is like, it's, what is it called? Um... I don't remember. I'll figure it out later. Anyways, so um, in our bedroom, Nick picked out most of the stuff. So it's like a, like a dark, a dark neutral to cool toned brown. It's not like walnut. It's like darker than that. Maybe like mahogany, but like not as like olden as far as the stain. Does that make sense? And I was like, okay, Ikea has this one. It's like, it's like a dark brown color. Like the only dark brown color that they have in the Billy bookcase. And I was like, all right, we're just going to get it. If it looks silly, it's like, it's what I don't really care at this point in my life. I don't really care. So, um, Nick got it and y'all, it is like a, almost a perfect match. Like it's, it was one of those most bizarre things. I like opened it and I was like, it looks even like it looks closer than the website picture looked. And I was like, wow, talent. So did that. Me and Hannah did start a little book club. It's like a very like low key. You do what you want to do. You want to read the book. You don't want to book. I, it's fine. Um, so we started a book club like early this earlier here. And I was like, all right, I want to finish this book first. Or maybe we started the day before. I don't really know. But we picked the book, um, Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I thought it was going to be really cute. I think it was too cozy. I was bored out of my mind. I started it physical, like reading it on my Kindle. I don't think no one in the book club has like been like, wow, this was like a really great book. Everyone's been like, it was fine or I didn't like it at all. But anyways, so, but it's crazy because it has like pretty good ratings on like Goodreads, which I just don't know. Oh my God, yeah, Reese. I love Reese. I mean, out of all the bad boys, I still like, I'm a Reese stan. I'm a Reese and Feyre forever type situation. Like, I just don't see the appeal in anyone else. <laughs> I can't. Okay. Anyways. So, um, anyways, the book, I started it with my Kindle and then I was like, all right, like I'm bored out of my mind. So then I was like, all right, I'm going to try it on audio and it was not good. It was just not good. It, I don't, I don't know. It was just not good. It was very like heavily descriptive of things that I feel like didn't need to be like, it would just take so long to say like 
one thing. Does that make sense at all? Like, I was just so, so bored, y'all. So bored. And I feel like I'm just, I don't know. I'm, I don't, I got to like 35%, which was like, I think like 100 and some pages in. And I was like, nothing has happened. I am bored. And like, I kind of like want to know what happens. It's like one of the worst, like, things in a book you DNF, which I honestly do not DNF books very often, if I'm being honest with you. I just don't. So I feel like I get to, like, I'm here, I'm in it. It's it's not that bad. So let's, like, continue going. No, I was like, no. Anyways, so it was just, it was a rough time. So I just DNF'd it. I felt kind of bad. And then Hannah, like, after this day, she had gotten to, like, I think 50% then. And she's like, yeah, I don't really like it, but I'm going to, like, try and finish it. And I was like, are you? And then she, I think after, like, this day, she was like, yeah, I'm not gonna. And I was like, Pfft yeah I'm blamey girl it's so boring all right so um then it was girls day which this was like a, a weird girls day but it like is our new normal I think I kind of like I was talking I didn't even talk to Hannah about this yet um we'll get there with her but um oh my gosh it's so cute um okay I think this is adorable but so basically it's a long story short i'm not going to go into details but theo is home now because it's just easier this way i'm being honest with you there's like a bazillion things but anyways theo is home now and nick and theo just hang they go to different classes and things it's it's all it's all solid he's healthy he's safe he's whatever okay so having girls day at my house theo is obsessed with hannah like it's almost like he's a little too obsessed you know what I mean Chris is trying to like win him from Hannah but he's failing miserably because I gave him like tips and he just didn't like he was like oh, I forgot and I'm like oh my god you're never gonna win all right so we're having girls at Hannah now because like it just wouldn't work at my house we would not get we would not be able to play game we would not be able to do anything besides play with you which is like fine but like girls day is supposed to be like my one day off of like thinking and parenting and all the things so it's really, well realistically even when girls day was at my house I still like did the kids like from when they came home till they went to bed but and I still do because I'm going I'm going home early and then we're just not doing girls night for now but anyways anyways I don't like driving at night and windy well, roads blah 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 okay so we had girls days at Hannah's, which was so fun. And I was talking to Nick about this yesterday. This is where I, I, I think I have like a thing where I just like can't tell a story. Like, I don't know. Is it like, cause I'm old or what? Where I like, my stories like are not needed to be as long as they are, but they're like, I need to tell the beginning of the story. I need to tell the after of the story. I need to tell the prequel of the story for like, not a lot of a story. Right. Anyways. <laughs> what I'm talking about ever but I think what I'm at the beginning okay brain focus 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 I need more coffee I think that I like having girls day outside of my house why we have theories but I don't know for certain and I think that it's like getting out of the house because most of my days are spent in my house I don't know if that's gonna ruin it for Hannah because it'll be at her house but I kind of like like getting ready and like leaving and then like being somewhere else and then going home it almost feels like I'm going to work but like a fun work I don't know I don't know I just kind of actually prefer and it was supposed to be like a temporary thing but I'm kind of thinking that we might just keep it Hannah I'm moving in um because we also do, we do game night at my house and we're also like Hannah's planning on moving closer to me. So we're planning on adding another game night with just the four of us and we're going to probably play Gloomhaven we talked about. But anyways, um, we gamed this day. What did we even play? I want to tell you because we've had like two. Okay, I feel like um, I was like not like not into games for a second, but like also I feel like I had a month or in a month and a half maybe where I was just like not vibing with like playing games like I was just kind of like I maybe I was in a slump maybe that's what we're gonna call it a slump I don't really know I should keep planning I don't know I haven't really said much 
but I've just kept talking. All right, so, okay, hold on. Where's my scribbler? Uh, this scribbler, like, this is what I'm left with. There's not a lot going on here. All right, back to the, back to the story. So, um, games that, so I feel like I've been in a slump, but then I feel like this day specifically, like, brought me out of the slump. I feel like, I don't really even know what the slump was about. I just wasn't, like, vibing. Like, I even, like, voiced this to Hannah. I was like, yeah, I'm just, like, into reading right now, which I feel like I am more into reading than I am into gaming, but I feel, I don't know if it was, like, maybe it was when I left my house. I don't really know, but I was, like, vibing this day. So, we played four new games this day. We played Coffee Rush, which was one of Hannah's games, which for the, like, price of this, like, game it's like a really good value the components in it are like so high quality it's kind of bizarre like that they were able to do such high quality pieces like for the price point um and it's a pretty simple game you're just basically like fulfilling coffee orders and like taking ingredients and like putting them places and like moving your little workers kind of like worker placement like um what is worker placement and then just like collecting ingredients I don't know what that like the mechanics called but it's like pretty simple as far as like the mechanics of the game but it's like pretty tricky as far as like managing it's like kind of like you have to manage all of these like I guess like it's not your hand it's like the board I don't know it's hard to explain it's not hard to learn it'd be a fun one if you're like not into games but you're into like coffee if you're into games that are like like Hannah said like on your phone that are like you are like managing a kitchen and putting all the ingredients together you would really like that one and then we did play Cat Lady, which is one of my games. And it was cute. It wasn't, like, mind-blowing, but it was, like, a cute game. If you like cats, again, it's, like, an easier game. So if you aren't, like, super into gaming, I feel like it would be a good one to start. Um, so we played that one. And then we also played Sea Salt and Paper, which is a new one that I have. It's another – it's a game that a lot of people hype up. And I feel like a lot of games that people hype up, I, we usually aren't, like – super super excited about um where's one with nick okay um but it was really good it's like a very simple card game another one that i feel like if you're not into gaming it only goes up to four players but it's such a fun one it's very satisfying it's set collecting hand management um there's a little bit of like take that but it's like pretty minimal um love that one and then we played command of nature which is another one of my games i did pre-order it it is an unstable game and they make like here to slay and unstable unicorns which you may have played i feel like those are like kind of like in the realm of like cards against humanity as far as like being pretty mainstream um but this one is a like head-to-head -head, like combat type game where it is a deck builder and you have like this little like um I'm not like an army, but like a little like pyramid of like fighters, I guess. And you're like fighting each other. It's like either two players or it's teams of two. So like four players. Hannah didn't like it. She doesn't really like, she says she doesn't like TCGs, but I think just in general, she's besides Dice Throne, she doesn't really like, like that kind of like battling type thing. She like Size Throne, she doesn't mind, um, what is that one game called? I can't think of what it's called. Sorcerer's Arena? But other than that, she doesn't really like games like that, where you're, like, ba like battling each other and, like, I don't know. But could also be that, like, mixed with the deck building aspect. But she also likes deck building by itself. So it's very confusing, but she did not like it. Um... But I, I knew she wouldn't like it as soon as I, like, we looked over the instructions. And I was like, you know who's going to really like this? Nicholas. And he did like it. So I'm very excited because I really liked it. Um, I feel like Unstable Unicorns games are very hit or miss for me. But I feel like this one was definitely a hit. And especially for uh, Unstable Unicorns or, well, Unstable Games. I would say 95% of their games are not good with two people. The only other game that I found of theirs that is good with two people is Tic Tac KO because it is like a two-player game. There's like, I think you can play at teams, but like who would want to? Um, I'll just keep talking because why not? Um, so yeah, who would want to? Nobody. Oh my gosh, a little unicorn. Um, 
so yeah, the, I think it's nice because it's, like I said, it is one of their only games besides Tic Tac KO that is really good at two players. Every other game like that boasts that it can go for two players is not good at two players, in my opinion. So I think that that's really fun because I do really like unstable games, but it's hard to play them with just like Nick because it's not fun. Like we've played some of them. We've played, I think, Here to Slay isn't horrible two players, but we just get in a lot of arguments when we play Here to Slay. And just, you know, not good for the, not good for the soul. So we just don't do it. Um, but yeah, honestly, it was a vibe of a day. It was a vibe of a day. And, um, I just went ahead and loved every second of it. I actually liked like every game. Like my favorite of all of them, I think was this, I don't, the seesaw on paper, I would say already bought the expansion. I think that's so fun. It's another one that's like really affordable, but like, I feel like I would want to play it over and over again, which is not like always the case with games. Like sometimes I feel like I get kind of burnt out on games. And then I was super tired this, well, I did play those like two games with Nick, the Seesaw and Paper and the Command of Nature whenever I got home later in the PMs. And then because it wasn't Wednesday, normally Girls Night is on Wednesday and I will do my own thing and Nick will play games with his friends. But this night was a Thursday. So we played games and then I was super tired. So I went to bed pretty early ish. Friday, I was up early at like five o'clock in the morning. You may ask why. And it's because no kids woke up in the middle of the night. So my body was like, Andrea, you have had enough sleep. So I just woke up because if I'm going to wake up within two hours, I'm not going back to sleep because I will just wake up feeling like poop. I did have a hair appointment this day, which went way better than my last hair appointment because my last hair appointment, if you're around for that video was a little bit of a stressful situation because they switched like hair colors. I feel like my hair, like the tone is still a little bit off, but I'm thankfully, I'm just like not like super picky, but it's not, it's not as like warm as I like it to be, but it's one of those things that I'm not like super stressed about it. It's like fine, but she did do it a little differently this time with the lightener. So I think I like figured out like what she was doing and like was like, okay, I see what's happening here. Um, so we did have Wendy's for dinner this day because I oddly, I have not really liked Wendy's in a long time. I feel like for a while their chicken nuggets were like kind of gross and all I would really eat is a junior bacon cheeseburger, but I don't know if like they changed their like formula back to the start, but their chicken nuggets taste good now. But I also don't know because everyone that like likes Wendy's says that I'm wrong and I'm like, maybe it was just like, maybe it's just like my like local Wendy's, but like how would, I don't know. I don't know. Cause that's not usually how it works, but maybe question mark. I don't really know. I don't really know y'all. If you have any insight on the Wendy's chicken nugget situation, I feel like they taste like they used to, but is it just me? Am I losing it? I feel like for a while they were kind of like dry and like spongy, but now I feel like they're kind of good like they used to be. So now I'm like on a Wendy's kick for no reason. I, and the, you know, I'm just like loving every second of it. It's a very chatty plan with me, which is odd. Cause I just woke up not like, I mean, I didn't just wake up recently, but you know, I woke up like not forever ago. And then, you know, I was just hanging with the good old fam. Um, and then this night I did read two graphic novels what graphic novels shall you say? I started another one too. So I read like two and a half this day. I do have a Goodreads. I think it's always linked down below. Possibly if it's not, let me know and I will link it. Um, I'm on 35 books for this year. Granted, like some of them are graphic novels, but like it's a higher percentage of, of novels versus graphic. So this night I did, like I said, read two graphic novels. Um, I did, I'm trying to find like a book sticker. Cause actually it was like, a, it was weird reading like physical books, like turning pages. Very strange. Very strange. I was like a book stack. Um, I did read Jim Henson's Labyrinth Coronation Volume 1, which I assumed that this was, cause I read another Jim Henson's Labyrinth like graphic novel and they were like a series of short stories that were like, you read the short story, it was done. You read the short story, it was done. You read the short story, it was done. This one is like a series. And I was like, as I'm reading it, I'm like, oh, this is juicy. Oh, this is juicy. It is, if you love The Labyrinth, which I love The Labyrinth. It's like my favorite movie of all time. Um, It is the Jareth origin story. And I was like, the whole time I'm like, 
this is juicy, this is juicy, this is juicy. And then I was like reading it and I'm like, okay, how are they going to wrap this up? Because I'm like looking at the physical book and I'm like, there's not a lot of pages left. Like, <laughs> how are we finishing this? And then I got to the end and I'm like, oh my God, volume one. It's a cliffhanger. So now I'm like peeved and I'm like, okay, I guess I have to go get the other ones because I'm very invested in this situation. So yeah, um, I was a little like, wait, what? I need, uh, uh, uh. the only other graphic novel I've, like, that's a series that I've been like, I need to read immediately is Heartstopper. And Heartstopper, it's just, I feel like if you read the first one, you like understand <laughs> that it's just like, you need to know what happens. So um, I read that one and then I read Fangirl Volume 2, the manga, which is basically Volume 1, 2, and 3. There, I don't think 3 has come out yet. And is there going to be 4? I don't really know. But it's just basically if you've read Fangirl, it's the same thing, pretty much. And then I started Delicious Dungeon Volume 2, which I really like. But I feel like it kind of, to me, like I, it, it reminds me of Adventure Zone because of like the theme of like kind of like Dungeons dragons D, D kind of situation but like not really i like adventure zone better graphic novel wise because i feel like things are happening but i feel like as far as delicious dungeon which is basically if this like there's this dungeon like adventure squad and they are um i'm trying to figure out what i want to do here um they it's basically them like in the dungeon trying to survive and like cook and stuff and like eating monsters which is like it was like super interesting in the first book but I feel like in the second book they it's just like the same thing but a little different like I'm feeling there's no like hierarchy story besides the fact that like in the first couple pages of the first one the one I don't like the one girl gets like eaten by a dragon they're trying to save her but other than that there's like not a lot going on otherwise and I just feel like I read the same thing as I read in the last book and like nothing is like different besides like what they cooked so I don't know if I'm gonna continue I might just like give it a while and then it'd be like a mood read of like every quarter or every half year I read another one because there's only like I think 12 anyways but overall it was just like it was fine so I think I finished that like one of these nights but I did not like put it in because it was like I finished half of it um so I did go to the farmer's market with Bennett this morning um and then I also did go to Target and HEB with Bennett um he picked out a new book. I was like, you're not getting any Legos or anything. I was like, you, um, he had a Lego at home that he didn't finish yet, which he did end up finishing this day. But I was like, you are, you can get a book. And he was like trying to get like a Minecraft, like not like a, like a, a like a story book, but like another, I was like, no, we're getting a book, a book, book. If you want anything, it's a book. And he picked out like a dog man book, which he's been obsessed with, which I think is so cute. And he actually like, it's just crazy. Cause I feel like six months ago like he was reading but it was like slow and he wasn't like fully like understanding every word but now he like speed reads and I'm like like and like when he reads it out loud he doesn't miss a word and I'm like that's just wild I'm just so proud of him so went shopping went to AGB because we needed a couple of things for dinner I needed the roast for the next day because I didn't buy that early in the week because it just doesn't like last since I freeze it and I don't want to unfreeze a roast too much work so we did that and then this day we also cleaned well we as in me and Bennett cleaned Bennett's room um it was just it wasn't like super messy but it just needed a little TLC so me and Bennett worked on his room this day then um oh also on this day when I got Wendy's I was gonna go to Monument which is like a diner it's actually on diners drive-ins and dives but it was like super busy it was like prime lunch time so that's why I also went to Wendy's but and also it was like I had my laptop and all this stuff and like I didn't have like a bag that I could bring in. So it's like I had to bring my laptop bag in and like I feel like I can't sit at the bar with like a laptop bag. It was a whole thing. But I think next time I have a hair appointment, I really want to like just bring my Kindle and then be able to go to lunch after by myself with my Kindle and just continue reading and have like a little day out of it. Goals, right? But I had to work that day because I was just like behind um, on um like Saturday evening I was just hanging out with the fam and then we did have a little uh game night with the squad is this the right one yeah so let's go ahead and do that 
So I did make chicken noodle soup this night. I was like really craving it and it was kind of like chillier out, I believe. So I was like, you know what? Actually, well, the thing, the funny thing is, is Theo did request it. So I was like, oh, well, Theo wants it. Nick, we gotta have it. Like it's just like, there's no other option besides me making it. So I did just hang out with the kids most of this night, which is basically what I do every night. Um, it's hanging out with my sweet little babies. It's basically every night now is a, um, every night now is a, like a dance party basically, is we just listen to music videos. Their current favorite one is maybe one more time. Um, Lila loves it. Theo loves it. Theo, like, has been wearing, like, athleisure because he loves the part where they're, like, in the gym and he, like, now is wearing, like, tank tops and basketball shorts, whereas for a while he was just wearing, like, button-ups, so he's influenced by Britney Spears, but, um, we just, like, hung out and then I did make the good old chicken noodle soup for dinner. It was very, very yummy, but honestly, I'm a little bit biased because I really just love chicken noodle soup. I could eat chicken noodle soup basically all day, every day, and I would not get bored of it. And then we did have a game night. I don't remember what games we played. I guess I could pull her up. We did have a game night, um, which I feel like was a really good one as well. It's just been like really good in the gaming world, if I'm uh, being uh, completely honest. So what did we play this night? like pull, going through all my game stickers and I'm like, where is everything? Let's do a little chameeple. What color matches? Hmm. Do this one. I don't think it matches perfectly, but it matches like fine enough. I think it doesn't like stick out. I mean, it looks cute. Um, we played my island or well, first we played my city roll and build because that was the campaign that we're currently working on. And I ended up winning, which I'm not like super surprised because I did win my city. Um, and then we also played my island. We like hacked it. So we bought like two copies so we could play as a five player game group. I don't really foresee there being any issue with that. Um, and then we played Rebel Princess because I needed to take pictures of it, but it was so fun. So fun that I am like, maybe we'll actually play this um, for my birthday. Because I'm just, like, really enjoying it. It's, a, it's like, the only trick-taking game that I've ever really liked. It was a recommendation from our favorite game store owner. Um, the game store owner of Tanuki. He's like, you all should try this one since you don't really like trick-taking. And it's so fun. I mean, I feel like a it was, like, kind of almost a safe bet because it is princess-themed. And the princesses are, like, very, like, independent. Like, they don't want princes. It's, like, it's so fun. Um... So I love that, um, but it's a trick-taking game, but it's nice because, like, every round has, like, different rules, and you, like, don't want to win the trick. It's, like, it's fun, and it's, like, we all, like, giggle the whole time, and then we played Horrified Greek Monsters, which I, I don't know. I feel like I have a love-hate with cooperative games. I think it's, like, who I play them with, and also I feel like sometimes cooperative games with a group of five people, it feels like you only get really, like, six turns the whole game, and then it's just, I'm, I think I just also have never really worked well in groups there's no like arguments or anything but it's just like I don't know I'm not like I'm just not the biggest fan of cooperative games like I like them in moderation but otherwise I could like do without does that make any sense maybe maybe not I don't know but also just like it takes a while but we did win which was cool and we were all excited about that. It's always, like, satisfying when you win a cooperative game because everyone wins. So it's, like, very energizing. But anyways, I did work um, some in the morning this day and was, like, hanging out with Bennett. Um, I think that Nick took the other two kids to, like, a littler kid's, like, play gym. So me and Bennett, like, hung out and I worked. And then we did play for a while. And then my in-laws did come over. They had not been over in a while because my father-in-law had pneumonia. And he was, like very sick um and he still is sick which is wild but like I guess it's like normal when you're older um but yeah it's he's just very very ill but they came over this night yeah he's still sick but it's not like it's just like the aftermath and he's gonna be sick for a while I guess it's more just like post I guess like I don't know he's still pretty rough but he's like better so that's like good um, 
and I did make a roast this night. I made a roast mashed potatoes. I make this like red wine um, breeze pot roast thing. I found it on the Instagrams if you want it. Let me know. It's very, very yummy. Delicious. My kids really don't love it that much, but they like the mashed potatoes and some of them ate the carrots. Um, and then I just went ahead and read and took a bath. I'm going to use the wax melt because I do love me a good wax melt. So, um, and then just also hung out with Nick. I don't really have a script for that. So I'm just going to put a with N. It's fine. So for the in-laws coming over, I'm just going to do a little star icon. All these mini icons that I use are from the uh, foil bundle that I'm using from my shop. There's just so many icons. So really works out. I'm going to use the little, um, this, which I use a kind of a pan for it. So that is everything. I think this spread turned out so cute. The only thing that I don't have is rose gold. I mean, I guess I could pull out black, but there's like not a lot of black in this set. Oh, there's like this is like sticking out. Just my fun covers. Um, it's not a lot of black in this spread. So I think I need to order like rose gold. Um, like what is this called? What's it called? I also put the script up here. I think this was very cute. Like the 15 millimeter strip. I was like, Wanted to use the bows, but also wanted to use that. So I just threw it up there. I use like so many quotes. Also, there's no overlay on this one. It's the only one there's not an overlay on. I might have to do something on that. Or maybe I'll just take like little stars and put it on it. Because I also don't want any of the like text to be covered. And I feel like any quote would cover some of the text. So let's just take some stars and throw them on here. So it has like a little bit of shine, but it's like specifically in the like water areas. I might go ahead after this video and add a couple more of these stars throughout the spread. We shall see. But yeah, I think that adds like a little something, something on the bottom there. But let me go ahead and show you all of the things. I had a couple scripts left, but those we don't need those to save those. Like I said, I might use some of these little things. I might actually save some of this like foil because I feel like I didn't use like a ton of it you know what I mean like because I you I had so much foil to pull from so I feel like let me show you what I'm de-stashing I'm de-stashing this 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 my de-stash is getting so full I keep saying I need to do like a de-stash giveaway thing um I'll probably de-stash this this there's a lot of boxes like there's so many box options um and then I'm probably I just save those two. So that's what I'm de-stashing. And then what I'm saving is I didn't like I ordered so many Akatar quotes because I wanted to have like options. So I'm just gonna save these. Will I ever use them? Who knows? I might just stick them on things because I just love Akatar. I also have this. It was a custom multi. I just like put an extra one on here so I can just like put that in with the Pixie Rose just to have. I'm also gonna save the extras from this. Actually, do I want to save the extras from the star bundle? It's not like I don't have more. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and like bring an extra one home but I'll put this in my de-stash but I'm gonna leave it up there so I can put those deco bits in and then remember to um get another one and then I'm probably gonna go ahead and uh I'll just mm, I'll save these because I feel like these are like useful even if it's just for like the dates and like the icons but I'll put these in their respective areas and that is everything for this plan with me I hope you liked it um have you read Akatar? do you love it what is your favorite series from the mass verse i'd love to know i'm just currently starting crescent city and it's very hard <laughs> to get into i think especially after Akatar because it is quite different um in the language and also in the like world but yeah that is everything i hope y'all liked the video and i will talk to you on the next one